I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you so much for joining me uh, on this live stream. Uh, breaking news coming out of Clemson, South Carolina. This is massive, massive news. In fact, I kind of feel like um, I kind of feel like we're staring at Clemson after a seventy to thirty three loss against West Virginia, and he fired Kevin Steele, Dabo Sweeney fired Kevin Steele. Uh, today, it literally just came out that Kevin, uh, that Kevin still, that Dabo Swinney has fired Brandon Streeter as the offensive coordinator for Clemson. Um, once again, massive news coming out of, uh, out of Clemson, South Carolina. This is not a joke. This is, in fact, I, I had my dad call me and said, did you see it? Had someone send me a text? I thought that it was a joke. I said, absolutely not, especially how Sweeney has just seemingly extremely uh, – he's been really, really defensive. I, I just felt like Sweeney was being blind to the whole thing. And uh, he he actually fired Brandon Streeter. Now, before I go any farther, I, I want to pause right here and say something. Um, Brandon Streeter is an individual. He has a family. Um, I am not a fan of his offensive play calling. I don't agree with his strategy. I don't agree with his game plan. It seemed like at a lot of times there was no game plan. It seemed like at times there was absolutely, okay, there did not seem, there, there was no player development. Now, how far that just runs into Streeter, there may be a few other coaches that have to may, may be fired in, in today or in the coming days. But I, I want to be very, very clear. I do not wish him any harm. We uh, uh, we don't need to say horrible, terrible, uh, terrible things about him or his family. Uh, this guy was making nine hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year to call football plays. This is a game, so he was doing very well for himself. Uh, he'll be taken care of. Uh, he's probably well taken care of already. He'll have another job lined up in a blink of an eye. Uh, who knows if he's still on the Clemson football staff? I hadn't read into that, but as soon as I saw this, I said I have got I've got to get on um, on the video and, and just talk about this and share this with everyone. This is news that, quite honestly, I am in shock. When I say I'm in shock, I feel like this is not real. Sweeney seemed like he was completely and totally okay with everything. I know some people would tell me, well, Brian, you have to understand, Sweeney's not going to tell everything that he, that you know, all of his moves and that he's going to make and this, that, and the other. I mean, folks, you've you, you got to look at this. Clemson lost their, lost a football game almost two weeks ago. Okay. This is not like the day after. This is two weeks later. Uh, he he is firing Brandon Streeter, and so it just kind of felt like it just wasn't going to happen, that we were going to go into another 2023 uh, season or into the 2023 season, and we were just going to see just absolutely, uh, you know, awful, awful crap <laughs> again. Uh, but once again, Dabo Sweeney could be returning to the Dabo that we know he is. And the Dabo that I know he is, is a competitor. And I have beat that drum now for two seasons. Uh, I have said that if Sweeney would just get back to operating in the ways that he would operate in, um, just quite honestly, I felt like uh, um, that we could be a championship caliber team. So once again, I hope – I, uh, I hope that whoever he's going to hire next is not going to be some hire from within somebody who's rubbed his ears with, with you know, sweet somethings and, and regurgitated his talking points. I hope that uh, this is going to be uh, – he's going to go after the very best for this offensive coordinator position. Now, of course, I see in my comments section, I see this with a lot of people. Everybody's talking about Jeff Scott, Jeff Scott, Jeff Scott. Folks, I love Jeff Scott. And I know that people have went out of their way on here and personally. I had someone one day tell me, they didn't tell me that they watched my videos, but I know that they've seen my videos. And they were just talking and they said, well, I know everybody talks about Jeff Scott, but I'll make it very clear. He never called the first play. Uh, I, I'm just going to tell you this. When Jeff Scott left, something happened. Just like when Joe Brady was at LSU for one season, 
Steve Ensminger was there before, during, and after. And everybody likes to talk about how Ensminger was calling the plays. Well, while Joe Brady was there, everything was amazing. Joe Brady leaves. I know the talent left. I know, but the talent was there before he got there. He got he got there. They set records. He leaves. The entire team falls apart. Ensminger was there before, during, and after. What was the variable, folks? You don't even have to be a you don't have to be brilliant to, to figure this out. It was Joe Brady. Jeff Scott had a lot of say. Uh, Jeff Scott has a lot has a lot of say. Um, between you and I, I see some names uh, going around. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury. Um, no offense to Cliff, but I, I don't think that Cliff. You know, if you really don't want uh, someone, I don't think he literally fits the culture of Clemson. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't think that Clemson would would want this. By the way, there's 38 people in here. I only got seven thumbs up. Forget me. This news. I hate it for Streeter uh, professionally, but Streeter was not right for this job. He will. He will find an incredible job. Uh, who says he's off the coaching staff? I think he's still. He may be on the coaching staff. I don't know. But folks, uh, please pass this around. Uh, someone mentioned Chad Morris. Chad Morris. Uh, Chad Morris did well until he got in the big games, and then he and then he got out schemed. We don't. I, I don't want Chad Morris back here. Um, Jeff Scott maybe, but uh, we we need. To, Dabo Sweeney needs, needs to go after the best offensive mind in the country. And if that best offensive mind in the country comes in and he he looks he looks at the positions coaches um, and says they need to go, they need to go. Give him that liberty. No matter, listen to me, no matter if it may be, um, you know, hurt some people. Um, you're, you, you, we don't want to go around hurting people, but it is your job, Coach Sweeney, to make the proper hires, and those proper hires have to have the ability to make the proper hires. And uh, um, so, anyway, I have a lot of people throwing names in here. It's now getting funny. Someone said Jim Harbaugh. Obviously, that's hilarious. And then Tom Cruise, which is really, really hilarious. Hey, you better be careful. Uh, he he might parachute into the building, but uh, – um, I'm going to go over a couple of comments. By the way, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Most likely, I'm one of the very first uh, people to, to tell you about this. Uh, thanks to my dad and my sister sent me a text. Aid. It was almost simultaneous about the time he told me. I looked down on my phone, and then my sister sent it to me. So thanks to my dad and then my sister uh, for telling me because I was in the middle of working. Literally, my, my work uh, uh, computer and everything's over here, and I, and I created a quick... Uh, thumbnail just to throw this on there. Once again, I hope the best for Brandon Streeter. I hope the best for his family. Listen, this guy is going to go somewhere and make a lot of money. Uh, he was already making a lot of money. Uh, compared to you and I, he, he makes tons of money. Um, just to put it in perspective, if you make $50,000 a year, it would take you basically 20 years to make what he earns in one year. Unless he's blown a bunch of money, um, he, he has a lot of money and he's been in that uh, offensive coordinator or that he's been on the offensive uh, coaching uh, side of the ball for a while, probably making fantastic money. I don't think he's poor yet again. We're not going to get personal with this. I'm just saying he was not the right man uh, for the job at Clemson. I do wish him the very best, but folks, I want to step back. Uh, Tiger Red Devil says Dabo proved you wrong, Bobby. He finally proved me wrong. Um, he, he, I, I think that he's had to come to his senses that this this hiring within and and doing all of this bunch of stuff it has not worked like he thought it was going to work. Maybe there's more moves to come, but ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Clemson will be getting a new offensive coordinator. The only thing we need to cross our fingers and hope is that Dabo Sweeney, with this move, will go after the best offensive mind money can buy, and Clemson has it. They can they can spend it. They can afford it. Uh, and and I'm I'm just gonna say this, Georgia Bulldog fans. I haven't done a video on the Georgia went Georgia. I mean, they obliterated TCU. I know everybody talks about that Georgia's defense, but I'm telling you, Todd Munkin, the offensive coordinator. Everybody's praising Kirby. Hey, great Kirby hired Todd Munkin. That's his job to put the best men in 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 line. He hired Todd Munkin, but Coach Munkin is the reason that Georgia's offense. 
is so powerful, is so unstoppable. And they have a walk-on quarterback playing for them. Now, he's very talented. They have developed, they have developed him. Uh, but whoever takes over for Clemson now is going to have to be someone who recruits well. Remember the three pillars of coaching I've talked about You're in college football, that is. Recruiting, player development, and then scheming. That includes your game plan and then in making adjustments. Folks, this is could be a paramount day for Clemson. And so uh, I, I'm hoping that he'll go make a Brent Venables hire on the offensive side of the ball. I hope he goes after somebody who knows how to get the most out of the quarterback, who, who pushes scheme, who's not afraid to make uh, uh, an adjustment on the fly who schemes to the players that they have versus what they wish they have, which Clemson's got a lot of talented players. But, folks, I, I, I'm with you. Uh, Jonathan Benton, I'm with you 100%. I did not think this – I didn't think this was going to happen. Uh, I, I really didn't. The Real McCoy says uh, – says Dabo has already uh, made a hire. SEC dog in here. Uh, I haven't I haven't did a video since the other night, but I, I'm I'm going to tell you this, uh, SEC dog, you guys looked incredible. And congratulations on the win, it made me sick, but uh, congratulations uh, for the win on the win. Uh, I, I'm really I'm really hoping that we're going to see a great move here. I really am. Um, it's just a it's just a big deal. Sorry, I've got my son coming in and out of this door over here, and I keep looking over here. Someone walking in, someone not walking in. Uh, but uh, so, who is it? Who's it going to be? Do we have any ideas? Is it going to be a new hire? Who do we know is going to run this thing? It's got to be someone that if they get in the big game that they can actually scheme for it. Folks, I want to tell you this, and I, and I want you to follow me here. I appreciate what Chad Morris did for Clemson. But when you go back, realistically, don't look on the good old days and go, ah, well, well, you know, the good old days, and you look at it through the lens of a very unrealistic uh view. The, the good old days a lot of times was not nearly as good as we all think they are. We've heard that analogy a lot. And if you haven't, you should sit and think about it. But my point in all of this is that Chad Morris did a lot of good things for Clemson. But when Clemson got in the big game, I know he had the LSU game, won the Orange Bowl uh, with the whole Ohio State win. I get that. But folks, we have to think about there was a lot of games that Chad Morris got into. He could not win. He got out schemed every time. But he had players like Sammy Watkins and Newt Hopkins and 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 uh, Andre Ellington, Taj Boyd. He had these guys. They were out there playing for him, and he could call just solid plays, and they could make him look great. But when it got into the big game, that is where we had the issue. We had the issue there. Um, and folks, that when you get into the college football playoff, and and I'm I've got I'm so. I'm just so right now, I'm just so like, I feel like someone's electrocuted me. Um, but him, but Dabo Sweeney firing Streeter, the next man up has got to be someone who's really good with a quarterback, who's very good at developing players, who's, who's going to have a reputation to bring in the proper offensive coaching staff under him to develop the line, the the tight ends, the running backs, the wide receivers, everybody. Some people may stay. Some people may go. All may be gone. I, I don't think that all will be gone because I, I don't think, for instance, Richardson at this point, I don't think Richardson should be removed. Uh, some of my some of my main questions actually falls in line with Tyler Grisham. Uh, our, we have four-star uh, wide receivers everywhere. We have a five-star wide receiver, and we have people uh, – we have people who are saying to me, hey, our wide receivers, they're just not that good. And it's like, well, hold on. Alabama was going after them. Georgia was going after them. Ohio State was going after them. I guess they fooled all of us. No, folks, what it is, there's no player development. And I've been talking about this. So 
maybe Grisham's not the man at this time. Maybe he needs to grow in his coaching. That doesn't mean he's going to be a bad coach. It, I'm just saying maybe he needs to grow uh, at this. But, folks, I just want to be very, very, very clear. This is a monumental day. Whoever he, uh, Dabo Sweeney names as the offensive coordinator, I, I hope and I beg, I would say pray, but uh, I, I'm just hoping that, he is going to hire someone that is amazing. That is amazing. And, folks, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. If Dabo Swinney has hired someone who is who is amazing and he can, this person can hire whoever they want, and now they'll have spring practice, they'll have the summer, they'll have fall practice, whatever. Folks, I'm going to tell you, this, this, this is exciting news for Clemson. This is what I've been saying. This is what I've been saying for a while, that if he will just bring the old Dabo Sweeney back, kind of like the old Eminem song, I'm aging myself here, will the real Dabo Sweeney please stand up? If he is standing up right now, folks, if Dabo Sweeney is back and he's had this experiment and he's done with it and he's standing up. Folks, I'm telling you right now, we'll win a national championship within the next couple of years if he makes the proper hire on this. But he just made a move that I didn't expect him to do. Quite honestly, I felt like that Clemson was just, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just kind of felt like the $11 million went to his head. He was done. He had had two national championships. Maybe Georgia winning like they did the other night maybe brought it all the way back to him. Folks, I'm excited. Once again, do not get dirty or say dirty things about Brandon Strader. And he's the guy. That, he made a lot more money than all of us. He made a ton of money, and he's not going to be in a cheese line. He's not going to be out begging for bread. He even he might still be on the coaching staff. I don't know. I, I'm just telling you, folks. I, I can't believe I, if if you see me over here, I'm reading the comments. There's so much excitement here, folks. Pass this along to your uh, to your forums. Any any you know any sites you go on and read. Pass this video along, folks. I'm excited. This is a great day for Clemson football. Brandon Streeter will be fine. He he will find another he will find another role somewhere else. If not, he's probably still on the Clemson staff. I don't know. Maybe he needs to grow. That does not mean he's he cannot be a good football coach or cannot call place uh, uh, somewhere else. Or maybe he can't grow in his position. Yes, James Thompson, this is real. This is not a Bobby Durkin skit. Brandon Streeter has been fired by Dabo Sweeney, and according to the real McCoy up here, there is a press conference uh, set for, excuse me, for tomorrow at four o'clock, I believe. I don't know if they're going to be announcing the the uh, new hire, who it may be. I don't know. Whoever this new person is, they have to recruit amazing. They have to player that be a pl- great player developer, and they have to be able to scheme very well. And when I say scheme very well, scheme for who you have, not who you wish you have. Well, this is my, this is how I run things. You're going to do it or we'll just lose. I don't want that guy. I want someone who will take, uh, who will take the players that we have, get the very most out of them, and move on. Eric Weyer said, Bobby Durkin's your special guest. Yeah, we could do that. There's a lot of people throwing names in here. James Thompson, I'm going to tell you, I, I don't expect it to be Jeff Scott. I don't expect that. Maybe it is. Who knows? For everybody who doesn't know about Jeff Scott, and I, I, obviously Clemson fans are going to be like, oh, I know Jeff Scott. Duh. By the way, 81 people's in here and 21 thumbs up. Folks, If you're a Clemson fan, you should be slapping that thumbs up button, not for me, but for this news. Our football team may be saved. Our football team may not be going down. I've said for three weeks now that I believe that our football team is on the decline, and folks rightfully so. But this news lets me know. I don't know 
if Kathleen put the moves on Dabo, I don't know if if the kids moved out and he finally he finally got his head clear. I don't know if somebody uh, let him watch his favorite show, Ted Lasso. I don't know what it is. He got just got some time alone. Folks, I am telling you right now, this is the best news for Clemson football since Brent Venables was hired. My Lord, somebody slapped the thumbs up button. Not for me, but for that. That lets me know. Please don't let them be toying with me. Please, please. I hope he hires someone that is amazing. And folks, I am telling you, I'm telling every fan base in here, every fan base in here, if you're a Georgia fan, you have great things to look forward to. You just won two national championships. You've recruited at a high level. Unless Todd Munkin leaves, I think you're going to be in great shape. But let me be very, very clear to you, Georgia. Let me be very clear to you, Alabama, who Alabama's going to be mad as absolutely losing their minds, which, by the way, I have a terrible storm moving through. So if you hear something crazy or if my it, this just cuts off, it's because my, my internet got cut because it's storming or something. I don't know. But, folks, I am telling you, Alabama is going to be back in the playoff last year. Why? They are mad. You could watch the post game. The post game. The trophy presentation. At the Sugar Bowl, when Alabama had just beat the crap out of Kansas State. And they were giving Sw uh, uh, Saban the trophy. He could care less. That's a mad man. He's going to be back, folks. SC, uh, the uh, SEC dog, you know Alabama's mad. Georgia is going to be going out of their way to prove that it just was not Stetson Bennett who was just so amazing at what he did. Ohio State could possibly be back, folks. We'll see with C.J. Stroud leaving. But I am telling you, if Dabo Sweeney makes a killer, killer, killer hire, unless Wes Goodwin's head falls off his shoulders and rolls down 123 in Clemson, South Carolina, Clemson Tigers will be back in the college football playoff next year, and they will be feared. Thank you very much. Take it to the bank and deposit it. Sue Cavanaugh's talking trash. I always love it when Sue kicks uh, talks trash. Folks, I'm going to leave on that high note. It's kind of like telling a funny joke. Once you tell a funny joke, just go ahead and call it. Call it. It's like George Costanza. He would have that one moment. Yeah, all right, I'll catch y'all later. And he would leave. I'm going to do that now. There is nothing else for me to say other than, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that the real Dabo Sweeney, the, the, the original Dabo Sweeney, the one who told us not to get excited for 10 wins and a conference championship, that was nothing. We're moving forward. Folks, I am telling you, I believe that man is back. And if he is, he just put college football on alert. Folks, pass this video around. It's good stuff. It's great news. Subscribe. It's free. If you're a cheapskate, you can, if, free. If you move like a sloth, you can still hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Folks, the real Dabo Sweeney is back. Well, I mean, according to how the hire is, he's going to bring it, but it seems like he is back. Folks, go have fun. It's always good to be a Tiger. Catch you next time.